Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizada with another tutorial on Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition. In this video, I will show you how you can promote a server to domain controller. Let's start. First of all, open the server manager. If you have installed the Active Directory domain services rule, there will be a caution button on the notifications. Click on the notifications and click on promote the server to a domain controller. If you haven't installed the Active Directory domain services rule and you don't know how to do that, I have put the link of the video in the description. Click on the promote the server to a domain controller. The configuration wizard will be opened to you. The first option is used to add a domain controller to an existing domain. If you have another domain controller and you want to add a domain controller to it, you have to select the first option. The second option is used to add a domain to an existing forest. And the third option is used to create a new forest. As I don't have any domain or a forest, so I will create a new forest. Specify the root domain name. Click on the next button. In this page, you have to select the functional level of your new forest or root domain. By default, the forest functional level will be selected as Windows Server 2016. And the domain functional level will be automatically selected to Windows Server 2016 too. If you want to configure the server as a DNS server too, you have to select this option. If you don't want the server to be a DNS server, uncheck this option. I don't want to promote the server to the DNS server, so I will uncheck this option. In the password field, you have to provide a password for the directory service restore mode. You need to provide a strong password and you need to remember it because while removing the Active Directory domain services rule, you need to enter this password. Click on the next button. By default, the NetBIOS domain name will be automatically detected. Click on the next button. Here you have to provide a location for the Active Directory domain services, database, log files, and sysfall. As I am running the server on a virtual machine, and it contains only one drive, which is drive C. So I will leave it as it is. And I will not change any of the folders. But if you are in an enterprise environment, you need to change these folders because it is critical. Click the next button. Here, Windows Server needs you to review all of your selections. Click the next button. Now, it will check for the prerequisites. The prerequisites have been checked. Click on the Install button to proceed to the installation. The installation is completed and now the server will restart automatically. Now that the server is restarted, you can see by default it says sign in to tech for all domain. As I haven't created any account, so I will sign in with the administrator account. To verify whether this server is promoted to the domain controller or not, open the server manager.
click on the tools menu here you can see that active directory administrative center domain and trusts module for windows powershell active directory sites and services and active directory users and computer is installed which means that this server is promoted to the domain controller open the active directory users and computers here you can see that this server is promoted to the domain controller and the domain name techforall.com is created that's all for today if you face any problem during the configuration comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible i will catch you very soon with another video till then have a nice time